hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created post room page with routing and reactive form in our angular application and in today's video we will create admin service and we will call post room api from the angular application so let's get started so in our angular application in the admin module we need to create a new folder for the services so we will right click on this admin folder and we will choose new folder and we will name this folder as admin services and after this we will right click on this admin services folder and we will open it in integrated terminal and in this terminal we need to give the command to create a new service which is ng g for generate s for service and we will name this service as admin and as you can see our admin service is ready now let's open this admin services folder and inside this we will open admin.service.ts file and in this service first of all we need to store the basic url so we will create a constant and we will name this as basic underscore url and we will set the value is equals to http localhost colon 8080 slash and after this to call the apis we need to inject http client so in the constructor we will write private and after this we will name this as http and then we will mention http client and we will import it from angular slash common slash http and after this we need to create a method to call the post room api and we will name this method as post room details and after this in the params of this method we will accept room dto of type any and this method will return observable of type any and after this in the body of this method we will write a return statement and we will use our http client module and after this we will call post method and in the params of this method first of all we need to give the url so let's mention the basic url and after this we will concatenate this with the endpoint url which is api slash admin slash room and after the url we need to pass the request body so we will write room dto and after this we need to attach the headers and here we will mention headers and to build the headers we will call a method create authorization header and with this our post home details method is completed now we need to create this create authorization header method so let's create a new method here and in the body of this method let's create a variable and let's name this as auth header and the type of this will be http headers and we will import it from angular slash common slash http and after this we will initialize it with new http headers and after this we will write a return statement and we will use this auth headers and after this we will call set method and in this method we need to pass the name and value and for the name let's give it as authorization and after this for the value let's pass bearer slash and after this we need to concatenate the token so we will use user storage service and we will call a method get token and with this our create authorization header method is completed as well now let's save this file and after this we will open the components folder and inside this we will open post room and then post room dot component dot ts file and in this component to call the api first of all we need to inject the admin service so in the constructor we will write private and we will name this as admin service and after this we will mention admin service and we will import it from admin services slash admin dot service and after this we will go in this submit form method and in this method we will use admin service and we will call a method post room details and in the params of this method we need to pass the room details so we will use this dot room details form and after this to get the value we will call dot value and after this we will subscribe the response and we will name this as rs and we will write an arrow function and after this to handle the errors we will write an error method as well and in the case of error we need to show the error message and to do this we will use ng message service and after this we will call dot error method and in the params of this method we need to pass the error text and we will get this text from the error response so we will use dollar and then curly braces and after this we will call error dot 
error and after this for the duration we will set it to 5000 and after this we will go to the success case and we will use same ng message service and we will show a message room posted successfully and after this we need to redirect the user so we will use router and after this we will call a method navigate by url and for the url we will set slash admin slash dashboard and with this our method is completed now let's save this file and let's run our application And as you can see, our application is up without any errors. Now let's go to the browser and let's test this implementation. And on the login page of our application, we will add the details of the admin. And the email is admin at the rate test.com. And after this, we need to add the password, which is admin. And after this, we will click on this login button. And as you can see, we got redirected to the admin dashboard. Now let's click on this post room button. And after this, we need to enter the room details. And for the room name, let's give it as room 100. And after this, we need to give the room type and let's give it as single. And after this, for the room price, let's give it as 500. And after adding the details, we need to click on this save button. And as you can see, we got the message room posted successfully and we got redirected to the admin dashboard. And now let's open our MySQL workbench to verify this entry. And in the MySQL workbench, we will open hotel underscore DB. And after this, we will open the tables drop down. And in this, we will view the data of rooms table. And as you can see in this table, we got two rooms and we can see a room with the ID 2 and the room name is room 100 and the room type is single which we just created and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create get rooms api call in our springboard application